Hi, Genevieve Jacobs from Region Media. For the announcement of the National Photographic Portrait Prize, which has turned into an absolute mainstay nationally for the art of portrait photography, the huge announcement has just been made. I'm with Karen Quinlan, who's the director of the National Portrait Gallery, Nick Mitsevich from the National Gallery, who was one of the judges. Karen, we've just had the drum roll. The portrait is behind us. Tell us who won. Joel Prattley for his work, Drought Story. And we had a number of runners-up distinguished um, awards that were also made, so we might touch on those at, in a moment. But this was a, a huge prize. The exhibition is running across three gallery spaces. It's quite spectacular and you've had thousands of entrants. We had over 3,000 entrants. Uh, it was a big task, shortlisting down to 79. Uh, we have used a larger gallery space this time because of the double in numbers. For us, it's really important to reflect very much on the last 12 months because everybody's been impacted by what's been going on in Australia for all sorts of reasons, from drought to bushfires, COVID. Um, it's certainly been a challenging year and we knew the photographers would rise to the occasion with their work and we knew that there would be some moving and inspirational stories within there. So great selection to choose from but the task was narrowing it down to 79 so yeah it, it looks absolutely spectacular nick talk to me about what you were looking for the theme is living memory as karen says it's been a horrendous year for so many people i'm actually very moved by this because i grew up not far from here and so this is this is very real to me and my family but what were the criteria of the judges and bill henson was the other judge along with yourself well, karen and i loved working with bill because he's such an extraordinary um, artist in his own right but also understands picture making and understands what it takes to make a great photograph sing and be arresting and i think joel's photograph behind you is a great example it's a combination of subject matter subject matter that touches your heart um, then bringing uh, the technical prowess in how you compose the picture and then the print quality and um, on all those three levels this picture really sung to us and really conveyed the story you actually felt the heat you could feel the dust um, it gave you a sense of atmosphere and feeling and uh, that's what really conveyed a, a, such a strong element with the, within this frame it's more than documenting, isn't it? So you're documenting, but you also have to illustrate the story. There's the intensity of the human emotion. That's all aligned with the artistic qualities of the work. Well, what, what an artist tries to do is convey meaning and feeling through um, capturing a moment. And I think Joel's photograph and many of the photographs in the exhibition do that. Karen, you did note a couple of other photographs that the judges have singled out. Tell us briefly about those. Julian Kingmar's work, Tom at the Drain, which is again a beautiful, uh, moving image. It's uh, a black and white. It's uh, a quite, a, I'd say, a fairly strange composition in terms of the horizon line, but certainly it, it talks about anxiety and how children in lockdown actually cope with the, the challenges that they're presented with. Um, so it's, it's a great work and, you know, when you're actually judging, you, you come together at a certain point after you've actually been through all the images as a judge and uh, there are a couple of works that we all agreed on at the very beginning, these two standing out. So um, it's just, it's a great moment, I think, for, for these artists to be included in this prize and we're really delighted to have them on the walls and all of the finalists, really. There's a story in here for everyone. Yeah. And look, I think that's absolutely it. There is a story in here for everyone. We know that the Archibald has always had a great grip on the Australian public's imagination. I think the National Photographic Portrait Prize does too. Uh, also making news this week on the Riot Act. Lots of other things we're talking about. A couple of scoops. NASA has announced a new $81 million dish, a deep space antenna that they're planning at Tidbin Villa. We're also talking about the proliferation of fake QR codes around Canberra and uh, leading to anti-vax information. Uh, they've popped up at a number of shopping centres. Snowdome Collections, speaking of large collections of artwork, Sally Hopman, who's just joined us as a journalist, is showing off hers and looking for your collections. And we're also talking about the beloved Dobinsons. Shut down, sadly, in the city, but opening up elsewhere. Famed for their pies and beloved by many. And look, the National Photographic Portrait Prize is open, Karen? Until the 7th of November. Okay, so until the 7th of November. While you're here, you might as well pop across the way to the National Gallery where the, uh, the next hang of Know My Name is not quite ready yet but about to take place, uh, part of the proliferation of riches we have here in Canberra. Join us on the Riot Act to be part of this and all the other big Canberra conversations that we're having. We've got an email newsletter that pops into your inbox weekly, a daily digest. We'd love to join you. I'm Genevieve Jacobs. This is Region Media. 